we are in this world or in this situation or 2020 has given us you know um uh, has been a, a a year with which has been so crazy in our lives but it's also been a conversation starter when it comes to mental mm-hmm. health we did not want to reach out to too many people we just wanted it to be on the right platform once it's done and so all the baby steps that we took towards bringing this film across to everyone are working in in place Hello everyone welcome to peepingmoon.com I'm Rashita Sahani and today I'm very happy and excited to be chatting with Neha Dhupia who will soon be seen in a heart touching to- short film called Step Out Hi Neha how have you been <coughs> I've been absolutely fine thank you very much for watching the film thank you very much for having this conversation with me because I know that the conversation we're about to have is going to be extremely important definitely you're most welcome uh Neha firstly tell me sometimes a uh, 10 to 12 minute short film says so much more than you know a proper film a proper feature film can so you tell me how did how did this idea hit it and how did you come on board how was the entire process so you know for me it was just extremely important to um a um the thing is that i'm i'm actually coming back to acting after very long so you know i had a baby i took a long break and all of that uh the only thing i did in the middle was another short called devi and i was very proud to be a part of it uh as far as step out is concerned i got a call from hide who is our director and suraj who's our producer so they were like you know our production company strange lab productions is making this film and we want you to do it and i was like what's it about three literally 3 minutes into the narration of a 10 minute film i was just like i'm going to do it and not just am i going to do it i have a production company called big girl productions and i would love to back it up as a subject and they were extremely happy uh to hear this and uh, more more than anything else I feel like our thoughts were aligned we were aware that we were working on a shoestring budget we were also totally aware about the fact that you know um we don't need the earth and the moon and the stars um to to put out such an important message and um uh that that was something that um was was very that that I was very clear and specific about that we don't have the manpower because we shot it in lockdown we don't have the resources because two very small production companies are coming together um uh, we did not have uh, uh we did not want to reach out to too many people we just wanted it to be on the right platform once it's done and so all the baby steps that we took towards bringing this film across to everyone are working in in place and that's how it happened now the film is about uh you know it talks about mental health it talks about um abuse it talks about things that people are going through on a daily basis and half the reason that they're going through this is not because they want to it's because they they feel and maybe sometimes it's true to a large extent for them because they feel like that they don't have a choice i don't know what the number in statistics are but i know that it's a very scary number for the number of people who are probably going through abuse now the minute we talk about abuse everybody thinks that you know it's a man or a husband beating up his wife that's a very large number but it can also happen at home you can go through mental abuse or torture yeah. when you know um, it's it's a father and son or any other relationship like that and the thing is you got to be sensitive towards any and everyone because you don't know what they're going through definitely and you know as you correctly mentioned that not only physical abuse it also talks about how mentally someone is tortured or abused uh, at home but you know while shooting for a subject like this which which has a very uh, deep connection to it uh, as an actor did it ever take a toll on you personally uh the fact that i was shooting for step out did that take a yeah, toll on yeah. me no it did not take a toll on me because as an actor um i have the ability to attach and detach sometimes like you know currently like i'm doing another uh, film um uh, where i'm i'm shooting it's called sanak and we yeah. just announced it uh, just now so there it has you know a relationship in the film which is very close to my heart so you know emotionally it took a toll on me saying that because you start putting yourself in that situation saying what if this happened with me or what if something like this happened yes when there were bits and because you've seen the film where um there's a certain kind of uh, performance expected out of me um 
you do put yourself in that situation uh saying you know what if i go through something as scary as this mm-hmm. or what if somebody else goes through it what if someone close to you goes through something like this so up to that point it is, does take a toll on you but uh, you have to you have to be able to attach and detach when i talk when we talk about mental health mm. i never ignore symptoms of any of my friends who try to reach out i'm not the kind of person if somebody comes and says this and i'm not feeling 100% then i'll be like chal yaar let's just go have a cup of coffee and talk no i am not um able as a person to get someone out of a mental health situation except to show them the right direction yeah i will take you to an expert i will m- tell you to talk about it i will ask you what is the what are your trigger points but as apart from that i i can't do much um we are in this world or in this situation or 2020 has given us you know um uh, has been A, a a year with which has been so crazy in our lives but it's also been a conversation starter when it comes to mental mm-hmm. health so i mean if you are going to talk about it and people are going through it we have to be sensitive towards it a lot more not like baat cheet karke and you know like i was talking in an interview even before this it should be like if you have your three square meals to eat if you have a shelter if you have a home to stay in you should count your blessings and have gratitude in your heart yes i am not denying that but does mental health have anything to do with it no the mm-hmm. most successful people the biggest of stars the biggest of industrialists could be going through it so you have to be sensitive it is not something that 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 is defined by the demographic you come from it is not so you have to be extremely sensitive towards it agreed completely and as you mentioned that you of course you have to be sensitive when you're talking about a issue like this one but when you are also a part of it not only as an actor but also a producer do you think the uh, sort of the responsibility on your shoulders it increases uh yeah i mean it definitely increases because you know you have a lot at stake you have a reputation at stake you have a promise you've made at stake like you know i've um as big girl productions the only things that we've done till now are five seasons of a uh, no filter nia which i never mm-hmm. say only because that's also you know it's is great and we've had an ongoing season season even in lockdown and we've also done like you know i support a breastfeeding charity which talks about normalizing breastfeeding and having parental conversations uh which is called freedom to feed but as a production company that's what we support apart from that um what have we uh, done next is step out so i i mean in for any producer you have a rep to protect you have a promise to make and and the pressures are definitely higher when a subject like this is attached to a project um it also gets along with uh, starting a lot of conversations like people are talking about it and we have seen that right now in cinema um the quality of what you're doing matters a lot and there are so many topics that really start debates start conversations do you also think that step out is going to be one of those projects you know for me the win more than having people watch the film more than getting more and more people to watch it or to start a conversation to start the debate is that if there's somebody who's actually going through abuse or if there's somebody who's actually going through a mental health issue and after watching this film they get get at any point encouraged to come out and talk about it if it yeah. changes their life that's my win more than anything else because you know it's not that um i am uh, somebody who thinks that uh, you know my film shouldn't do well of course because if there is surround sound if it is amplified if there are conversations around it then more and more people will talk about it and somewhere down the line maybe you know if you're sitting and watching this film for 10 minutes on your ipad and you know it's about mental health or if you know it's about some some abuse and the next next morning you want to get up and change your life that will be my victory definitely yeah and uh, of course it is releasing next week so what is it like are you because i know that you know the you backing it backing a project is a big deal so you are in it acting and backing are you nervous 
yes, I'm very nervous, but uh, I surround my myself with uh, more work when other work is coming out so that, you know, for better or for worse, I'm kind of uh, uh, in a position to, to detach and attach. And um, it's my first as a producer. So it defines a lot for big girl productions as well. So yeah, even if it's a small step, a baby step, it just shouldn't go unrecognized. And that's all that I want out of it. Okay, yeah, great. And, uh, you know, Neha is someone who has been on, we have seen you in all possible platforms. We have seen you on TV, on web, we have seen you in films. Someone who has been there and been around for a long time, how do you take this censorship which has been imposed on web recently as? Uh, I mean, I don't know about the projects that are going to come out after because we haven't seen that. The censorship has yeah. just come in now. Um, I, I, I feel that, uh, you know, um, I'm sure that it comes from a, a place of uh, reason why the censorship has come. Does it come in the way of... Um, creating content as one wishes to, I'd say partially, yes. Um, but having said that, we'll only know once we see the content and once, you know, I haven't worked on anything as an actor because I don't know the difference between, hey, this is what you can do and this is what you can't do right now. So it hasn't come in the way of our scripting. Um, I've had uh, like three scripts that have come my way that i kind of greenlit and most of them are for the web and there's been no kind of line over there where you've been like oh but because of censorship we can't say this so i haven't faced the consequence of it yet but let's see okay and uh, lastly i would want to ask i was actually i had a chat with angad also when mumbai was releasing and i could not ask this to him so i have to ask this to you uh, when are you guys planning to work together either for a web project or a film <laughs> oh <laughs> oh it's going to be a big ask but we did work together earlier in a punjabi film and then we worked in a film yeah. called ungli which is yeah. produced by dharma and renzel de silva I directed it but to tell you the truth, we haven't worked together at all, except maybe like a couple of endorsements and stuff. It'd be nice to, sh to like, you know, go to set with him. And he always says that he can't work with me because I'm 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 very annoying as an actor. And he's just he's always over prepared and I'm the opposite. Yeah. Like for me, I feel like everything happens once in front of the camera. So let's just prepare as much as knowing your lines and then go with instinct. And he loves to prepare and get accent, body language, all of that, right? So we're both very yeah. different schools as actors. Okay, <laughs> but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you both in a full-fledged project together. <laughs> Lovely. So we'll we'll, we'll uh, look forward to to uh, you know putting the word out. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much, Neha, for chatting with me. It was a pleasure having you, and I'm sure Step Out is going to do so well. Likewise.